And another one here, back light test, just for the Fanny Fuss Pots, uh, saying why did I have it down on the floor instead of having it up behind me like this? Well, okay, I've got it directly up above me, like just arm's length away. Sorry, I can't show it in the shot. I have to frame it correctly. And uh, got my two main studio lights on, lights off at the moment, the backlight is off and uh, I'm about to switch it on. I've only got the single 50 watt bulb and it literally is like bigger than head height. It's like, you know, six and a half foot or just over, you know, six foot above the ground or something like that. So it's now coming down. So we should get some extra light sort of, you know, on the shoulders and stuff like that. The reason I don't want it there is because then I'm lighting stuff from behind and it comes on the bench. So you'll see it, you should see it appear on the bench and I don't actually want that. So here we go. There we go. That's on and off. I don't know, it could be better. Let me know, I have to review the footage. I can only see it on my screen here, two meters away. But there you go, you wouldn't want any more than that. You wouldn't want, you know, any more bulbs. I've got four bulbs up there potentially that I can use. I'm only switching on one 50 watt bulb at the moment. So there you go. But as you can see, it's lighting up the bench here and uh, I certainly, and it's reflecting off, and I don't want that. Um, that's that's not good. I can see the reflection in the lens on the camera. It's not that great. So, anyway, but it could highlight me actually better. It probably does. In fact, uh, you know, you'd have to muck around with the angle and uh, all sorts of stuff. It's silly. Anyway, I've got my big, uh, big pole here, and it's mounted up on that. Anyway, just a test. Catch you next time.